you said 2019, you're, you're doing some things different to try to bring in more traffic. We talked about you're making more posts and what you're doing to, in content creation, but what are you doing in actual um, awareness? That, so like, are you doing something different with Pinterest? Are you trying to do more time in Pinterest, more time in Facebook? Where are you focusing this year for your website? So I personally am focusing more on Pinterest and email. So um, Pinterest, I am going to be doing it differently. I learned some things in November that I'm going to be applying. And I want, um, I, I just want to make a few changes there, not a whole lot, and see uh, both changes with my boards and with my pins and see if I can drive more traffic by doing that and it's sort of testing right now. So I don't, I don't have a very specific plan, but just more a general plan to test. And then um, as far as email goes, I just want to build a better relationship with my readers mm -hmm. and make sure that I'm giving them just what they want. And so I just put a survey out and I'm getting did you get my response. Yes, I did. <laughs> That's funny. I saw that. <laughs> yeah, I like put my name on the anonymous, anonymous survey. <laughs> yeah, That's okay. Yeah. Oh, that was cute. And um, you so, said yeah. you read them in your survey. You're like, I read all of these, and I appreciate your feedback. I was like, Well, she's gonna like this. <laughs> so put my name on. <laughs> right. See, I do read them all because I, I did. I knew you did. I knew you yeah. weren't lying. I really care, you know, about what people want from me um, because I, I think that you know you're out there looking for stuff it's very noisy out there and I want to make sure that people are getting what they want you know on my site so that makes sense sure mm -hmm. as for me I'm focusing on more of everything so for the last maybe year I was researching into how to better distribute my content um, throughout multiple platforms, even platforms that I didn't really know much about as a user. So I've been learning just like the basics of each platform, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, and podcasting now. And learning, one of the coolest things that I learned over the last couple of months is that you make a piece of pillar content and you probably you might already know all this, but for the audience, you make a piece of pillar content. So what you and I are doing right now is a, is a, like, I don't even remember all the words, but basically it's, it's a piece of pillar content. And with this content, it's going to be maybe an hour or however long we've been talking. And a long time. <laughs> a long time. <laughs> uh, so with this piece of content, I can send that out to Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, wherever, and my podcast but I can also edit it into all of the, the different subjects we talked about. So then this one piece of content, I can, in editing, break it out, break it down, which is very time consuming. Yes. <laughs> but again, it, it's, it's cool in that someone might be able to watch this whole video and like it, but also someone might just want to learn about creative parenting and watch that segment. And then, uh, you know, I can enter that into YouTube which is basically a search engine because it's run by Google. Right. So if someone's wanting to learn how, how to raise boys or whatever, and they're just new to raising boys. Maybe I'll have a title of how to get your boy to start reading or wh whatever I make the title. And then it's me and Sheila talking about how she helped her child, uh, how she taught him to read without teaching him how to read, you know? Um, so that's really cool for me. And so that's what I've been learning. And that's what, I really wanted to start practicing throughout 2019 and that's what I'm doing with uh, my personal brand it, a lot. I realized that this would be a lot of work. And so with my streamline gaming brand, I wanted to do it for that, but I noticed that I was getting exhausted doing that because yeah. again, it was a lot of content. It was a lot of time, but it wasn't helping a lot of the inner, my inner circle. And I really wanted to bring value to my friends and family. So with the personal brand, I think because I'm so excited about helping my friends and family that I'll actually have the energy to make 
this ridiculous time investment into making all this content. Um, so for me, that's my plan for 2019. <laughs> that's great. It's really smart too. You are smart. You know, Thanks. I told you that. <laughs> you did. Uh, Thanks, so <laughs> I think it's really smart to take content and make it, you know, into m multiple different things. And yeah, you can do, um, you can take it further than that too, you know, by, um, doing a transcript, it does take a long time. You can actually get those done, but it's kind of pricey. Yeah, I've looked um, at that. It's like, what, a dollar a minute or something? Yeah, that would be a really expensive one for this yeah. one. <laughs> 90 bucks. <laughs> I don't even know how long we've been talking, but it's been fun. So anyway, but you can, you know, just take the general talking points and put those below a, you know, write up a little blurb pop the video in, put the general talking points below and put that on your website and, you know, keyword it properly. And you might get some traffic from that as well. And that's are you going to, that's so with your website, are you going to run ads or? Uh, I'm currently making less money each month than that, or I'm making less money than I'm spending, which I'm not spending a lot, but <laughs> I have a part-time job. And so basically, no, I'm not doing ads. If I start making more money than I'm oh. spending, I will do more ads. I didn't mean run ads and pay for them. I meant, are you going to have ads on your site? Oh, I see what you're saying. I don't plan on it. You don't plan on it. Okay. Yeah, I think for me that personally, I, I think from a user standpoint, I want when people to click, when people click on stuff on my site, um, I want them to go to more stuff on my site so they can see more. Right. But like with Streamline Gaming, I have the affiliate links for Amazon, which um, I think those, to me, they, they seem very helpful. Like I would want links to a game for people to read more about it anyway. So I might as well have the upside of making money on the link if I'm having the link anyway. Um, but as far as ads, I don't plan on that currently. And my long-term goal doesn't have ads in it. My long-term goal is to have a, a nice audience that I can – write a book and people will want to buy my book or whatever I'm doing. Like I'm coaching. Right. So if, if I make content about pickleball and tennis, then hopefully someone will want to come take lessons from me or what, whatever. Um, so no, not currently, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I do plan on running ads. Uh, if I ever have money to extra money to spend, I plan on running ads to help boost my awareness and that stuff. But yeah. <laughs> I know that's not like a financial sound decision where I am in my life, but that's, that's what I like doing. So. No, oh, yeah. For, you know, for you people make just your choices. I don't, um, I don't run them, but um, I know that there are people who do and they can be very lucrative. You know, just. It definitely depends on what product you have. I would say, cause I've run a lot of ads that would probably be successful, you know, based on the metrics but I didn't really have any products to sell. So my conversions weren't really bringing me money. <laughs> uh, so. So awareness. Then. Yeah. I was really just building awareness and trying to get people that wanted the content that I was making to actually get to see it. 